Mercy Me is making a move to Nashville. I've been here about a year and a half already. I lived here before, so it's kind of like coming home a little bit. I packed my family up and moved from Texas to Tennessee. We've uh, adopted a, a, another kid, so we have four kids now. Um, yeah, life couldn't be any crazier or more fun. We've cut back shows, so we have a fair amount of time off that we uh, get to spend a lot of time with our family, so it's, it's great. We tried to take some more time off the road as we could and be home with our families a little more. We have made a decisive decision to slow down a bit, which is a good thing. We're all getting older, our families are getting bigger, children are getting older, and in that we've decided to slow down our traveling a little bit. That's not to say that we've stopped working at all. We certainly haven't. Uh, our new record is evidence of that. It's been a good season to reflect on what's important and how to make changes to ensure that those stay most important. Yes, I'm better late than not at all. Or did you plan it this way all along? Cause without suffering, grace is hard to see. So maybe I'm right where I'm supposed to be. For me, the hurt and the healer was kind of the lowest point of personally. I don't know about it career-wise, but personally it definitely was. Just a lot of crazy stuff going on in my life. Uh, kind of got to a point to where I'd, I've been playing by the rules for a long time. You know, uh, everything that religion would tell me to do. And I was kind of the overachiever, just trying to, to do my best to get God's approval. And, and at, at that point, I realized that, man, all the stuff that I'd done, all the records that I've sold, uh, why does it feel like my family at times is hanging by a thread? And why does it feel like everything personal and dear to me? just isn't isn't going as smoothly as everything else is and so the way things have changed for me is since that time that was kind of the, that was kind of the beginning of kind of this new season of my life I guess because it wasn't long after that a dear friend of mine came into my life that I hadn't seen in a while and started pouring the grace message into my life and, and telling me things like you know there's nothing you can really do to make Christ love you any more than he already does and so you know maybe you should think about just kind of just not doing so much and resting in the finished work of the cross, which was, an, the concept was unheard of for me. That was not an option. And so if I wrestled with it for a long time and then realized, man, I guess for me to say I can do anything to make this better is in a way saying the cross wasn't enough. And so it really, at one, it kind of contradicted a lot of things I'd been doing in the past. And at the same time, well, you know, it, it started, the gospel started appearing to be what I, I hoped it always was, was, you know, it's too good to be true is what it felt like. And so a lot of those questions in the hurt and the healer, I think, have been answered coming into this new record, Welcome to the New, that's kind of the answer to all that stuff of God, don't let this be in vain. And two years later, he's like, it's not in vain. He goes, you're in a brand new place. It's as if you're just getting started. And, and uh, you don't do all the stuff to make right with God. You do this stuff because you are right with God. And, um, and uh, I mean, it kind, of it kind of alleviates the pressure and the anxiety and the stress of trying to perform and do well uh, to where probably for the first time in my life, I could say it's safe to say that I don't really need Mercy Me as a ministry. It's not my identity. That doesn't mean that I'm quitting tomorrow. All it means is that, that what I do now is because I absolutely love what I'm doing. And, uh, and when you start to understand who you are in Christ, all this other stuff just becomes just a, a blast because the, the pressure's gone. You know, the pressure of if I don't do this right, I'm going to be punished. All of a sudden it's God going, I mean, there's, there's no condemnation, there's no punishment, you're good. Whether you do it right or do it wrong, you're still good because the cross is enough. So then all of a sudden you're doing it out of just the mere love of making music. And, and, and for the first time, honestly, I can say that this, is the, this, this may be the first time that I desperately want this message to be heard more than anything else we've ever done. Lord, is it possible to get this far And just now understand who you are I'm feeling foolish yet relieved as well Cause what I bought before I just can't sell